India. My case study is online railway reservation system. Before going into the web browser, we'll just understand the architecture diagram of this railway reservation system. This is my architect diagram. It has been divided into three parts. The first one is the front end where UI framework or Angular CLI 13 is being used. And the second one is the middleware. And third is the backend. In the backend, MongoDB are the database I'm using here. For three microservices, I have a three individual MongoDB connection. Since it is a schema-less, non-relational and non-structural database, I'm using MongoDB for my database collection. Now coming to the middleware, I have a four different microservices. One is admin, second is search, third is booking and fourth is payment, which are running with their individual port numbers and they are registered in the Eureka server or also called as discovery server under the port number 8671. And these Eureka server can be called using a single API, single port number or using a Zool API gateway. We can call all the microservices with a single port number. The Zool API not only helps in calling the microservices with a single port number, it is also responsible for request routing. And this Eureka helps when the instance of microservices have been called, then it helps in the load balancing concept. Next part is my security, where I've used JWT token-based security. In my JWT token-based security, since token has been generating, I'm using both. Uh, I'm using my JWT both in microservices, uh, sorry, API gateway as well as in my uh, Angular frameworks to uh, for the better security. So the token matches, then only the uh, user or any particular person login can. Uh, access all the uh, all the details of search book and payment thing now i'm using swagger for my documentation purpose not only for the documentation you can also be used to check your CRUD operations like get put post delete methods this is my complete uh, architecture diagram uh, before going into the uh, website we'll just understand what are the responsibilities of an admin an admin you can just add a train or delete a train or update a train or do any operation based on adding or deleting with the trains and even you can weave the book tickets or book the tickets with that pay whether the pnr are generated but what are the source and destination what is the price everything and in the search the user just come and you can just click on the search and you can see the availability of a train and it can based on this availability he can book the train then he needs to, when it comes to booking the train he needs to give its login or registration thing since booking uh, part take place the payment material as well as the for information of the user it can it should be secure so i'm using login here uh, or a jwt token logins where it, where the details of user need to be secured after booking he clicks on the pay and the payment gateway will be open and he needs to pay whatever the amount he has been given uh, next we'll go with the web browser this is the web browser before going to the web browser we'll just see the eureka server uh, see this is a eureka server which is running at the port number 8671 and all my microservices and my api gateway is been registered under this case under this discovery server and now we'll see the case study of my uh, case study this is my uh, railway reservation system uh, this is my home page when the person click on search he can see the list of trains uh, based on his choice suppose he is wishing to choose from mumbai and all the detail trains from mumbai see mumbai details is not there so it's showing null when it comes and even the case sensitive and if he clicks on mysore sorry mysore that time spelling mistake sorry uh, this mysore you can see the mysore uh, trains which are available so mysore is available from the source mysore till the destination mumbai when again if i click on mumbai see i can get two things one is from mumbai to pune and the which is a pune express and second one is a mysore express which is moving from source mysore to mumbai when i click on book uh, it will be redirecting me to the user profile where he needs to log in. So, uh, for the time being, I am already logged in. Now I am using my username and password to log in. Uh, sign up. So, need to keep the seats. Like how many seats are going? See, the seats will be 12. Now when I click on book, 
automatically the booking will be done and if you want to see the booking details you need to give on see book details here this book details will be displayed with its pnr number trip ticket id number of seats and and source of destination with its price as well as the date of uh, arrival of the train now we can also edit the train or delete the train now we'll go with the delete option see we can just delete whatever train uh you can do uh delete is nothing but cancelling the ticket uh when he click click on the edit one uh based on his prr number he needs to based on his prr number he can edit the things number of seat was initially 12 now i can give the number of seat as 10 i am just changing the number of seats from 12 to 10 now updated we can see we can see here the seat from 12 to 10 it has been updated and uh, let me go with the payment now and the payment when the person clicks on pay there is order id customer id as well as the uh, industry type and channel should be pep and his order id will be v1 v7 123 and the custom id is this one and you can enter the uh, tickets for 10 tickets you need to give 150 into 10 is uh, 1500 so you can click on pay when he clicks on pay he can click uh, put his button details and when he clicks on pay button he will get his this receipt which has been successfully uh, paid and to the home page once again we are refreshed and we came into the home page now we will see the admin part when they clicks on admin he needs to again register he already registered now i'm just giving the username and password for it to uh, the use admin has successfully logged in now you can check you can add the trains and view all the book details first we'll add the train since pnr is auto generating and train id is not auto generating i am not giving anything i'll just keep ux u express which is moving from the source uh, abc to the destination xyz with the price 100 rupees i am just adding the train successfully added now we can see the train has been added with its own train id uh, train name source destination and with the price based on the train id he can edit the things now i will just edit my source destination as well as the train name for u express i will give mangalore express which is moving from the source bangalore to the destination mangalore now i am updating now updation is successfully done see uh, the it's the train name source destination but the price is same i have not edited any price so it can be seen like this uh, now we'll go with the view of view all the book trains like you can view all the book trains details here with their pn number ticket id number of seats which are available and source destination prices date and time here uh this is my case study and uh, thank you